let's talk about synthetic division when the denominator is quadratic in form. In our previous video on video number 89, we already talked about synthetic division, but in that lesson, our focus was on divisor in the form x minus r. In this video, we extended that lesson so that our divisor is quadratic in form. Here is our problem for today. Use synthetic division to find the quotient of 8x to the 5th plus 2x to the 4th minus 26x cubed plus 2x squared plus 6, all divided by 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. In order to use the synthetic division, the first thing that we have to do is to make sure that both the numerator and the denominator, which are both polynomials, are in descending order of power. Here our first term is 5th degree, next is 4th degree, 3rd degree, 2nd degree, but the first degree term is missing. In the denominator, we have 2nd degree, 1st degree, and constant. So we need to insert 0 as placeholder for the missing term. Also, when using synthetic division, we want the divisor to be a monic polynomial, meaning a single variable polynomial where the leading coefficient is 1. In our example, the leading coefficient is 2. So what we are going to do is we can factor the denominator as 2 times the quantity x squared plus 3 over 2x minus 1 half. And therefore, the problem now would look like this. Our divisor is composed of two factors. One of them is 2. The other is this monic polynomial. And in order to apply the synthetic division, we are going to divide the numerator by this monic polynomial and then divide by 2 later on. The idea behind here is that if I divide, let's say, 24 divided by 6, which is equal to 4, I can get the same result if I do it this way. 24 divided by the factors of 6, which are 2 and 3. Notice that if I divide 24 by 3 and then divide by 2, I will get the same result because 24 divided by 3 is 8. And then I divide by 2. 8 divided by 2 is still 4. So what this means is if our denominator is in factored form, that means we have two factors. One is 2. The other factor is x squared plus 3 over 2x minus 1 half. I can divide the numerator by one of the factors first, in this case by this monic polynomial first, and then the result divided by 2. I will still get the same result when I divide this polynomial by 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. So that's our plan. We will divide first by this monic polynomial and then divide later on by 2. In performing the synthetic division, we eliminate all the variables and just consider all the coefficients. So I take 8, 2, negative 26, 2, 0, and 6 and write them down in this first line. For the divisor, let's take note that we are dividing first by x squared plus 3 halves x minus 1 half. And in performing this synthetic division, we get the additive inverse of this positive 3 halves, which is negative 3 over 2, and the additive inverse of this negative 1 half, which is positive 1 half. And these numbers now are these two numbers. The reasons why we are getting the additive inverse is because, remember that division is repeated subtraction. When we perform our synthetic division, we want to avoid subtraction because subtraction is more complicated than addition. And since addition is adding the additive inverse, that's the reason why we are getting the additive inverse so that we can perform addition instead of subtraction. So with this as the setup now of our synthetic division, the first step that we're going to do is place zero as placeholders in these four locations. The first two columns in the row containing one half and the first column in this bottom row and also zero here at the end of the constant. Notice that 
When the divisor is linear, we only have this first number as our divisor. Since we now have here quadratic divisor, that's the reason why we have two rows here. Also, when we have these two numbers, 8 plus 0, we perform addition and write the answer here. So 8 plus 0 equals 8. Similarly, when you have this 8 plus 0, we add also and write the answer here. You also have here 2 plus 0, and you will write the answer here. After that, you multiply this 8 by this negative 3 halves and place the answer here. So 8 times negative 3 halves is negative 12. And then multiply 8 times 1 half, place the answer here, you get positive 4. Then perform the addition. 2 plus negative 12 is negative 10. Negative 26 plus 4 is equal to negative 22. And then repeat the process. This negative 10 times negative 3 halves equals 15. Negative 10 times 1 half equals negative 5. And then add negative 22 plus 15 equals negative 7. 2 plus negative 5 equals negative 3. Then multiply again. Negative 7 times negative 3 halves equals 21 over 2. Negative 7 times 1 half equals negative 7 over 2. And then add negative 3 plus 21 over 2 to get 15 over 2. 0 plus negative 7 over 2 is negative 7 over 2. Then multiply again. This number times negative 3 halves gives us negative 45 over 4. This number again, 15 over 2 times 1 half gives us 15 over 4. And then add negative 7 over 2 plus negative 45 over 4. This is the result. Add 6 plus 15 over 4, you get 39 over 4. When you arrive at this last number with 0, you do not multiply anymore because this cell is already occupied and there's no more cell at the top that is vacant. So just add 39 over 4 plus 0 to get 39 over 4. Once you completed this last row, the last two cells at the right represent our remainder and the other cells at the left represent the quotient. Remember that in this problem, this is the polynomial that we are dividing. The highest degree in the numerator is fifth degree and the highest degree in the denominator is second degree. So the degree of our quotient would be the difference between the fifth and the second degree, which is the third degree. So our quotient now, therefore, should be get this 8 and append x to the third power. x to the third is computed by dividing x to the fifth by x to the second. In dividing exponential number, we subtract the exponents. And since we arrange our numerator and denominator in descending order of power, our quotient also is in descending order. So if the first is x to the third, the next is 1 minus the degree of the previous, which is second degree, then first degree, then the constant. And then for the remainder, our remainder also is in the form a coefficient followed by x plus a constant. And then our divisor. The common mistake here is many students are writing 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 for the divisor instead of this monic polynomial. We should be writing the monic divisor here because at this point, we are just dividing by this factor. We are not dividing yet by this other factor. And so our next step now is to divide by this 2. So if you divide by 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Negative 7 divided by 2 is negative 7 over 2. 15 over 2 divided by 2 is 15 over 4. And in this remainder part, we are also going to divide this by 2. But dividing by 2 is just the same as multiplying by 1 half. And when you multiply by 1 half, you multiply the numerator times 1 is still the same numerator but the denominator multiplied by 2. So that is just the same as writing it as 2 times this denominator. And then at this point, we can simplify this denominator of the remainder in order to get this final answer. Distribute 2 to x squared to get 2x squared. Distribute 2 to 3 halves to get 3, copy the x, 
and multiply two times negative one half to get negative one. And so in here, this line is the numerator divided by this monic divisor. This next part is the numerator divided by the entire denominator, including two. That's why we divide by two. And then in this last part, we just simplify this denominator of the remainder. And finally, here is now our answer, which we computed using synthetic division. So thank you, thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video.